into digital dialogues uh, with the theme <laughs> real estate market um, and uh, an overview of the current global changes. This past uh, two days, including today, has been very, very engaging. We've explored virtually what I want to say, the value chain of um, what the real estate industry is all about. We've looked at the area of finance. We've looked at the area of technology. We certainly of course looked at the area of the practice itself, what the innovations we are obviously going to embrace in order to make our deliverables attainable. These are all of the things we've talked about um, this past two days. Today being the third day, we are just going to be wrapping up with uh, two panel sections, one on agility. And uh, I'm glad to announce that um, the panelists are very much on ground. And then we also look at uh, demand and supply in view so that we can help to understand how the business balances out. My name is Stephen Ipalebo Lawson. For some of you who I'm just meeting for the first time, I see other familiar faces like Carol, like uh, Mr. Apology, and uh, certainly um, ABCK, we've been having one or two conversations. However, it gives me great delight to recognize uh, the representative of the special advisor to the executive governor of Lagos State on Housing, uh, she is uh, Madam Jumoke Adio Moses. She's going to be giving uh, the opening remark on behalf of Mrs. Toke Bensina Woyinka, who is certainly, again, as I mentioned earlier, on the special advisor to the executive governor of Lagos State on Housing. And it's important that we have this kinds of government view and position, especially with what Lagos being the pay setter state of the country is all about. Okay. So, Jumoke, I will give the microphone to you. Over to you. Right, thank you very much, Stephen. I am delighted to, to be here this afternoon. Um, unfortunately, the special advisor is not around today. Ms. Toke Benson, she's unavoidably absent. She's had to go, um, you know, go do some other stuff for the governor. But um, regardless of that, I mean, I will be, I'll be here and I'll be giving the opening remarks for the third day. I understand that it has been a remarkable two days so far. And that I just hope that today being the third day would, you know, would crown it up and step it up to, you know, you know, to and give it the extra nudge. And having said that, I will just give a brief history of what Lasera is all about, where we are coming from, what it is that it has been before, and what we're going, you know, what we tend to do later in the future. So Initially, La Sierra was called La Sierra, and that is the Lagos State Real Estate Transaction Department. It was established by an executive order in 2012, and it was saddled with the responsibility to regulate, monitor, and develop an institutional framework for real estate transaction in the state. And so over the years, the state government has been inundated with complaints on fraudulent and unscrupulous, unscrupulous practices of some real estate agents operating in the state who would often use real estate transaction as a medium to defraud and take advantage of unsuspecting tenants and purchasers of properties. So in order to stem these unprofessional practices, the state government created Lassitrad to protect the interest of the general public who desire to buy, sell or lease properties within the state. As the commercial business center of the nation's investment in infrastructure de infrastructural development, which has resulted in an upsurge in real estate transaction, the Lagos state government is committed to ensuring security and sanity in the real estate sector. And so to this end, some of the responsibility of last year then included registration of the real estate across, you know, registration of the real estate agents and developments across states, entrenching the principle of fair play orderly conduct and accountability in the real estate sector, monitoring compliance with the Lagos State Tenancy Law of 2011 and other state legislation on land transactions, also preparing rules and regulations for the practice of estate agents in the state, insurance and renewal of licenses annually, investigation, complaints and petition against license and unlicensed real estate agents, practitioners, and imposing sanctions in accordance with the law where necessary. Also organizing stakeholders forum to deliberate on issues and challenges in the sector annually. And so you would agree with me that this and much more is what last, last return was set up for. And um, in February of this year, the governor 
approved the upgrade of the department, that's La Citrat, to an agency. And now it is called La Strera, Lagos State Real Estate Regulatory Authority. And so now it's an autonomous agency. It is independent, you know. And so some of the benefits to the stakeholders would include elimination of unethical real estate agents in the sector. We want to enhance transparency in real estate transactions by this. And so we are simply excited. We're passionate about uh, what La Serra stands for. And we want La Serra to be a one-stop shop where everything concerning real estate would, um, you know, would, would, would come to. And so we, I am, I am, you know, just telling everybody right now, if you have not checked out our website, please go to www.lasera.com. All the information you need, all the details you need, you will have it there. And you, and if you have any questions, you can contact us. And uh, our numbers, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, and our helpline numbers too are that is if they are there too, on the website. And so these are some of the things that we are excited about. And I just hope that um, all the stakeholders, the um, the developers, the agents, every and each one of us, we would all work together to collaborate and sanitize this industry, which is within our be dearly beloved um, Lagos State. Thank you very much. Mr. Stephen, are you there? Yes, I am, Jumoke. Thank you so very much, uh, Bada Jumoke, for such a um... A insightful presentation on behalf of the special advisor to the executive okay, governor yes. of mm -hmm. uh, of Lagos State. One or two points before you before you leave. Uh, yes. I'm glad. Uh, would you would you want to take that website again? Perhaps you want to spell the words out. So yes, that, uh, please. yes, please. So www. Uh, www. Lasrera. How do you how do you spell the Lasrera? Lasrera. L A S R E R A. Lasrera. L-A-S-R-E-R-A, -E Lagos State Real Estate Regulatory Authority. Okay, so is that an is that a dot? Uh, is is that? No, it's a it's, it's a dot com. Is it is a dot com? Okay, a dot com. Okay, all right. So yes. I, I needed to have that information communicated because I've been yes, and I've our, already... our helpline. Yes. Helpline, are you ready? Helpline, zero nine zero one. Okay. 999. Okay. 9997. So nine in six places, if I get that right. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. Then there's That's a second great. line. There's a okay. second line. 09901. Zero nine, zero nine, zero okay. 999. Okay. 9977. Nine, okay. All right. Uh, what's what's yeah. the affinity with uh, what's the affinity with the nine number? Is the nine the real estate <laughs> number or something? You know, we yeah. just wanted to make it very unique <laughs> and, and so easy to remember. So you just say, um, yes. you know, nine in five places, or you say nine in six places, and then you just say so. It's just so easy. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it just it brings to mind the word like Jisbon 007, real estate yes, 999. Yes. You know, exactly. that, that, that yes. Makes <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank and you so very much. Found at block twenty one. At the secretariat, first floor. Block twenty one. Uh, yeah. The first floor. Okay. First floor of block twenty one. Secretariat. secretariat. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. We're glad because we know that Lagos State is doing so much in that regard. Uh, yes. uh, it is. It is a state that is a pace setting state. I always say that. Uh, yeah. Because uh, a, a lot of what if you travel to some other states. You discover that uh, they are actually, you know, copying. Well, well, like, let me not use the word copying. They are actually adopting the, yeah. di the different models Adopted, that Lagos yeah. State, yeah, is actually rolling out, and that is good because at the end of mm -hmm. the day, it is it is going to be better for the whole um, nation at large uh, because Absolutely. we need the country to work, you know, as the way we've always imagined it. And I'm glad you've mentioned that um, the issue with regards to tenancy law, the real estate yeah. agency practice. And societal yes. values is it, because yes. you cannot discontinue you cannot disconnect the value from the, no. the practice itself and yes. so uh it's important that one of the major issue i want to believe uh, last will mm -hmm. be looking at has to do with omonile 
uh, because mm. I, I don't, I don't. That itself is an impediment even to development, mm. as well as some home ownership, as well as property mm. uh, um, upgrade. So we need to have all of this addressed while we are taking mm -hmm. care of um, every strata mm -hmm. of the society. Is important. Absolutely. And certainly, we want to say a big thank you to Lagos State Government um, through yes. your office for partnering yes. with us on uh, Radar 2020. We believe that uh, come 2021, we're going to be seeing <laughs> more involvement from from the Lagos State. Uh, of government.